Our first step will be to change the color. We want to choose a nice and bright color, one that really stands out against the background. And for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and use red. Now for your stroke color, you want to um, make it just a little bit darker, just a little bit. What's going on with my mouse? It's flipping out. Okay, we'll see how. There we go. That's a little better. Wanted to make it a little bit darker than the fill color. So now once we have that selected, uh, select our oval tool and then we want to insert a new symbol. We're going to name this shiny orb and have it be a movie clip. And now we want to draw our oval. Let's center it a little bit. Okay. Now we want to make sure that our color mixer is open. And once we have our color mixer open, we want to go down to our fill tool and then select linear. Okay, and we want this to be red also. Okay. Now let's go ahead and change this to a little bit lighter shade. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. All right. Now let's rotate this to where the light side of our sphere is on the bottom and the dark is on the top. Now that that's all set, we can go ahead and uh, create another layer, which we're going to copy our sphere first. And we're going to put it on another layer on top. Now we want to choose a radial. Okay, but now what we want to do is we want to make our right edge a little bit darker here. Actually, I'd say considerably darker. And this doesn't really matter because we are going to set this down to a zero alpha. And then move it right over. Okay, and you can see how it gives it sort of like a shadowy look or feel surrounding the sphere. Now we just need to add one more layer to our orb here to give it sort of like a, uh, a shine or a glisten. Okay, and this, um, this step is extremely simple. We just pretty much repeat the last step. We copy our second filled layer, create another layer, and now this time we want our color mixer uh, to be completely separated, but we want to change it to white this is white also. Okay, but we want to make the outside alpha zero, like so. Let's go ahead and just move our shine up towards the top of our orb. The trick is to put the exact center spot right at the very top of the orb. Okay, And once we do that, we want to cl um, click our free transform tool and shrink it by about 10%. Okay. There. Now that gives the curve uh, a little bit more of a straighter curve instead of uh, you know an extreme kind of curve so it gives it the the look like it's more well it's perfect uh, excuse me perfectly round that's what I'm trying to say if I could spit it out here okay and um, let's go back and we want to make 
are inside alpha about 75 percent. Okay, so one more quick and final step. Oops, let's go back here. We're going to want to copy it one more time and then post another layer. Of course, we want to label this mask and then paste in place. Right click on that layer and then click on mask and there we go. Okay, now uh, the top part of our last layer here will not be shown so it can't um, you know interfere with any other graphics on the main stage or the main timeline okay so let's open up our library insert our shiny orb and let's test out our movie okay now there can be some tweaking involved. Uh, you can change the colors or change the brightness of um, of the shine and even change the color of the shine. If you want to just experiment with different colors, you can get a lot of great looks uh, from you know these from this type of procedure. So by all means, uh, go ahead and experiment and uh, have fun with it because you can create lots of different styles and lots of different types of uh, orbs and um, with a little research, you can also add some action script to them and add a lot of interactivity. Okay, but by now you should be able to create a shiny orb. So thank you very much for watching Tutor Pipes Tutorials.